What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and today I'm going to show you how to install VMware Workstation Player. It's a free virtual machine from VMware. You're going to want to go to VMware.com and this is the homepage as of um, I guess March 19, 2020. So you're going to go to Downloads, you're going to go to Free Product Downloads and you're going to go to Workstation Player. Now you're going to see that the latest version is 15.5 so we're going to want to download that, so let's try it for Windows. And it will automatically download the latest one. I believe there's also a page I was able to find by searching um, that will actually let you download the latest versions from here. So you can actually choose the specific version of VMware Workstation Player that you want, but um, the, other way I, the other method I showed you will download it directly. So we're going to go ahead and click on it now that it finished downloading. You should see a um, user account control security message. Just click yes. Oh, also, uh, while this is going, I want to thank um, F. Azar uh, for asking in the comments, are there any other free-to-use virtual virtualization software apart from Oracle's VirtualBox? Uh, well, yes, and it is VMware, and that's what I'm showing you now. So, thank you for the comment, and I hope you checked out this video. So, yeah, going back to our video, um, we're going to go ahead and click on Next. We'll accept the terms of the license agreement. Um, you can install a advanced keyboard driver, which I do recommend, and then hit Next. You can check for product updates on startup. This is up to you if you'd like to do this or not. And uh, join the VMware Customer Experience Improvement Program. That's up to you as well. This will send usage information to VMware, so be aware of that. Um, but both of these are optional. You don't have to do either one of these, and it'll work fine. And then you can choose where you want your shortcuts to go as well. Um, do you want a start menu? Uh, programs folder shortcut. Do you want your desktop icon? I usually don't want a desktop icon. And we'll hit next and install. Also, you'll notice that I'm actually using a real green screen now, not um, that uh, weird VCAM software. I actually have a paid license for VCAM and it would just constantly flicker out for some reason so I just brought back the green screen it works great so if you hear the bubbling I've got some coffee going right now <laughs> so installing virtual network drivers And it looks like we're done. Um, you can also put a license if you'd like to, but you don't have to. Go ahead and click on finish. And then you must restart. So no, I'll restart later. We're going to go ahead and run VMware Workstation Player. And we're going to choose free for non-commercial use. Uh, unless you're using this in a business sense and you're making money off of it somehow, like running multiple server um, instances or something, uh, it's absolutely free for non-commercial use. Otherwise, you have to buy a commercial use license. But we're just going to hit continue here and hit finish. And now we have a full 100% working version of VMware Workstation 15 in 2020 <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll try my best to get to all of them um, otherwise thank you so much for watching and have a great day peace